Hello, my Geminis. This is your daily for the 13th through the 14th. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's see what we got from the Gemini. Study and learning. Pisces got this same card. This is beautiful. See how bright that is? Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. Let's see what other messages we have from a Gemini friends for today from Tarot. Let's see. What does Gemini need to know? What do my Geminis need to know? Mm, here's your card. Mm. Wow. Mm. The main thing I get from this, my Geminis, is first of all, this is all about love, all about sharing, all about giving, um, equal give and take, okay? Um, needing to make a choice that if you want to be in a relationship that you have to be able to give as much as you take, okay, equally. Being able to share your time with someone, being able to share your love with someone, being stable, like emotionally, you know, not bursting out in a rage, you know, um, Telling somebody you love them if you love them. Not keeping it to yourself, you know, as a control mechanism. You know, that I feel like is, th this is a strong message for somebody here. Very strong message. Um, there's Taurus energy here. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see why this is happening. Hmm. Seven of Cups, the Devil, and the Hermit. Well, my Gemini's Scorpio energy here. Mm. This could be involving a Scorpio, or you guys may have like a Scorpio moon or something. Scorpio in your chart, but um, I think you know for a while you guys were confused about this person um and you really didn't know how you felt but i think now that um you have you've realized that you really really have this strong connection with this person and it's it's really confusing you i feel it's it's confusing you so much so that it's like it's turned into like this devil energy where you know that's all you're focusing on it's almost like a level of obsessiveness okay i feel like you really want to be in partnership with this person right now they they are confusing to you as well because you really want to know, you know, how they feel if they are even willing to, you know, share with you again if this is somebody from the past. Are they willing to, you know, enter into something with you once more? Hmm. I feel like you guys are really just trying to, you know, you're trying to sort things out. And I think that a lot of you have probably been isolating yourselves here because it's like you really want to know or want to figure out, you know, how you can make this work. You really want to figure out how you can even get this person to give you a chance here, okay? Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles under there is you guys are really want to work with somebody here. Let's see what the influence is for you guys. Wow, 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 wow. Hmm. I don't know, Gemini's. I feel like you guys probably dipped on this person, probably, or either they dipped on you. Sorry. Or either they dipped on you and um, 
I feel like somebody, Gemini's, maybe you guys, somebody, I'm not going to say you guys, somebody here, um, I think with this level of obsessiveness, it has kind of like run somebody off, maybe another Gemini like yourself or an Aquarius, Libra person. And I think they just feel like they really could not take um, maybe the questions, maybe the level of obsessiveness um, here. This is almost like depression, almost like, you know, you want somebody to see what you see. And, um, you know, you can't really make somebody see what it is that you see, you know. But somebody, somebody has, looks like has left this situation. And I feel like you really want them back. You're looking for them here. This person may have been, you know, mean to you or you were mean to them. You know when you left and sometimes if somebody's steady like you know poking the bear then it's easy to lash out that's the easy thing to do the hard thing to do is to walk away <coughs> without lashing out when somebody is like projecting this nine of swords energy onto you okay so let's see what the outcome is here yeah somebody's emotionally drained like they feel like they can't get anything else out of this situation so um it may be this water sign energy this scorpio energy that walks away whoever that may be does not have to be a water sign but somebody feels like there's nothing left to do here like there's nothing left that i can do here i'm emotionally drained um i can't stay here i have to say goodbye so that is the outcome, you guys, and um, that is a very solemn reading, and I am sorry for that, but, you know, I'm just delivering the message, okay? So I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.